What's going on guys and welcome to Integra Nation where we game and we know things and today I want to stop and take a look at TCG player aka the Vanguard stock market and see what it's going to cost you the player to get in the overdress depending on what nation you want to play but before we begin guys please hit that like button if you like this video smash that subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be notified each and every time that I upload a brand new video. Welcome to today's segment guys. I wanted to stop and take a look at the marketplace for a second. Now I've been keeping a very very close eye on TCG player not only because I've been purchasing cards off of TCG player as of late to finish up Dragon Empire, finish Stoakea, things like that, but because I wanted to see what the cost of this new version of Vanguard is actually costing us the players. And earlier on in the week, prices were looking fairly decent. They weren't too bad, like it felt pretty good. Now all of a sudden, I'm on here yesterday and prices sort of all of a sudden just they skyrocketed for certain cards. Not entirely, you know, the whole thing, because some of them are very, you know, very much still reasonable. But let's just start with let's look at Keter because right now Apex Ruler Bastion as a deck is dominating. It is, it is doing so well in tournaments all over the place, and for good reason. It's a very, very strong deck. So let's just look real quick at the one of the big triple rare cards for. Keter Sanctuary with Grand Heavenly Sword Alden. Now, Alden, as they're saying right now, is like the normal price now is like $15.81. Before the price hike, this guy was around like $10 to $11 solid. And I'm fine with that. $10 to $11 per triple rare, and it's a staple in the card. That's beautiful. I don't mind those prices. That means for about $40, $44 for, for a play set, I'm, I'm good. Like, that's not bad. But here we see $13.75. Okay. 13.75 per card so as we look down the list that's bare minimum now and that's still that's not counting the 99 cent um shipping and handling for said card so at that point you're still looking at about 15 so now instead of 40 to 44 now we're looking at about 60 dollars per play set for grand heavenly sword alden for your keter sanctuary deck now let's look at um, Night of War Damage Fagos or Fasado. Sorry, I don't know why the hell I called it that, so I apologize. Anyway, Fasado. Um, this is another staple, very important. You need a four of. This dude was sitting at around, I want to say he was still around like the ten or eleven dollars. Now he has jumped to around like twelve dollars and ninety nine cent for shipping and handling. So that's about a two dollar hike for this particular seller. But if you start looking down the list, he's jumping all over the place because you can see prices of thirteen ninety nine. You know the shipping is included. Then you start hitting fourteen to fifteen dollars, and then he starts just kind of settling in at about fifteen dollars. And some people are even trying to make you pay like twenty. Do not pay twenty dollars. For this card it is no no um anywhere between 10 11 i mean if you really want the card and you really have to pay 15 dollars for it then i guess go ahead and pay 15 that seems to be where he's settling in at so you're still looking at another 60 dollars for night of war damage Fasado. so you're looking at 120 dollars already for a play set of two staples okay granted if you buy a boot um a starter deck i shouldn't say booster don't know why i said that anyway if you buy a starter deck for apex ruler bastion you're not really trying to bling out your deck you can still get the trial deck for or starter deck whatever you want to call it for like you know they're sitting between anywhere between five and like twelve dollars depending on where you get it even though twelve dollars is insane because the decks are only supposed to be about four dollars um, with that being said, let's just take a look real quick. I want you guys to um, check out my boy. I want to give some props to him real quick. 50 card. So if you're looking for trial decks, let's say you haven't got your starter decks, go ahead and hit my boy up right here because he has some of the best prices and he's super awesome. Right here, I'll also post a link to his website in the description below. But for $23.99, you get all five trial decks, okay? So if there's a trial deck that you want or you're just looking for them, he will be getting more in stock. So I know you look over here like Andy's sold out there. Yeah, that's true. But he's getting more that's going to be shipping in June. 
So if you just go ahead and get the whole bundle, $23.99, you've got all five trial decks. Um, that This is where I got mine. I got two copies of each, and I'm pretty happy. Anyway, getting back to the marketplace. Um, for a single copy of Apex Ruler, he's going to be sitting around 5 to $7. So, you know, already you're going to be looking at that card. And let's just say you wanted to bling it out and you didn't have the trial deck, which you should get the trial deck. Then you're going to be paying about $35 for a playset. As you can start to see, it's not cheap to try to fully build Keter Sanctuary out the gate with money throwing at singles. Um, unless you got like your own little stop pile of cards and maybe you can trade, that's going to help your wallet tremendously. But I was doing the math and already it's it's about 175 it, and, and, and maybe even more to flesh out Keter Sanctuary to build the Apex Roller Bastion deck. So I just wanted to point that out real quick. So moving away from Keter, let's start taking a look at Dark State. This is another one that um, I want to finish building at some point, but I, I have not had the opportunity to do so yet. Here he is. Let's just start. Let's click on him. I do that because then stuff revolving around him pops up. So anyway, if we move over here, okay, let's start with the big guns, okay? This guy is going to be Steam Battler Gungrum. You need about four copies of this guy, okay? Um, it starts off saying, yeah, he's 725. I'm digging that. That's dope. Let's go. 725. I'm, I'm down for that. But then you start seeing he he was spiking. Um, actually, he has come down a little bit since the making um, of this video. <laughs> um, because as of last night, this dude was actually sending um, higher. He was sending a little bit higher. I'm actually okay with this. 725, so that's about mm, 15 bucks for two of them. So that means he's sending about $30 for a play set. That's not too shabby. But let's look at our boy Diablos Eden, okay? He actually spiked. And now you can see where he is spiked. He was sitting around $10 to $11 before the price hike. Now, he's sitting anywhere between $15 and $18, depending on who you're buying from. So, for a place of this guy, he's going to be swinging anywhere between like $60, $64 for a playset of him. So, that's $60. Let's just say 60 and then you got like 30 for um, this guy, so that's 90. You got your upward acrobat Marjorie, okay? So Marjorie is going to be, she's actually jumped. She's now like a $5 card and I don't quite understand it. She was like a dollar card before the price hike. She went up $4. On the average of looking at these prices, she's jumped up $4 per copy. So now you're looking at like 20 bucks for her. You're looking at 30. You're looking at about 60. So that's 90. That's 110. 110 for your six staples that you need, or the three staples so far that you need. And I said six because I like thinking of multiples of two, and, and you need like four. But anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah, math, it betrays me. So anyway, looking forward, guys, like now. The PG, the PG that's a rare has jumped up. It was sitting about three dollars. It was originally sitting about three to four dollars. Okay, now it's then jumped up to about five dollars, six dollars per copy. That's another thirty dollars now. So now you're looking at one twenty-ish, one fifty. You're looking at hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, now let's look at um, Proto Bulb Dragon, another one that you really kind of want for the deck. That's really good. And he's a rare. Has now jumped up to about. Three dollars on the average about three dollars per copy okay that's another twelve dollars okay so now we're like 60 um that's what 20 80 30 so that's 110 another 20 so probably around 150 160 ish and that's assuming that you already have the start deck if you have the start deck, maybe you have to buy the start deck. So now you're looking at 170. So my point is already out the gate for Keter and Dark State for their big hitters. And we're not because I'm not looking at their alternative decks that you can make. Like with Keter, you can make the Hexagorb, uh, Hexa Orb Sorceress deck. Um, and then like for Dark State, you can make like the darker regular type thing with um, what's his name? What's his name? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Um, here, the Master of Gravity, the deck that other people are playing. Um, it's more budget friendly in a lot of sense because it does not require like a whole lot of like high rarity cards 
I mean, and the crazy thing is not even that this deck is like full high rarity, but it is the highest rarity so far of what the, the game has to offer for us as far as the Bruce stuff goes. So like, you're looking at around anywhere between 150, I'm gonna just blow ball it at 150 to about $200 to like start building these two competitive decks alone. Um, let's just take a look at, um, let's look at Dragon Empire for a second. Okay, let's look at that one. Do, 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 do. Um, Divine Dragon Nirvana. There we go. Okay, let's look at Nirvana. I have finished this deck, and this deck was not as cheap as I would have liked, but you know, it, it is what it is. It's the main character's deck, so I mean, what are you going to do? Um, so like Nirvana for a playset, Hollow Foil. I mean, I didn't even touch on Hollow Foils when it came to Bruce, but you kind of still get the idea. If you want to bling him out, he's seven per copy. So at four, that's 28. It's about $30 if you wanted to bling out Nirvana. Let's look at um, Varina Arcs, okay? You also want this. It's very important for this deck. It's now sitting at about $7. So it jumped about two. He was averaging about $5 when I bought mine. And that, that wasn't bad. I was okay paying $5 for a double rare. Like, that's, you know, it's fine. But now you're looking at about six, seven dollars, maybe eight. So let's just kind of ballpark it about seven. So that's about twenty-eight. So about twenty-eight dollars for him. Um, and about what was it? What'd I say? What'd I say for Nirvana? Yeah, about seven for Nirvana. So that's like twenty-eight, twenty-eight. So that's about fifty-six dollars. Uh, let's go ahead and forward this real quick, and let's look at let's look at the big boy himself, Varina, Varina Valiente. That's kind of a uh, cool last name in a sense. This, when I bought it, was like $20. $20 a pop. Now, you can see he's kind of like all over the place where he might be 21. He could be like 23-ish. He could be around um, 24 $24. So now you're looking at about, let's just ballpark at about 23 So 23 23 is, that's 46 So... 90 it, it's ridiculous look at about $80 average for a playset anywhere between 80 to $100 average now for this one so already like the it's it's crazy you're already looking at 130 160 dollars maybe 170 we still haven't even touched on the pg we didn't even talk about the pg for this now this is sitting at about three dollars i paid about a dollar fifty per pg for mine at the time i placed it the bought mine but now look he's on he's jumped three to four dollars a piece that's a huge spike increase for this card um and again so you're looking at dragon empire you're going to be hitting anywhere between 150 to 200 dollars anywhere between 150 and 200 dollars for the um nirvana varina deck because i'm still not even touching on the um the over trigger which swings for about anywhere between nine at its bare minimum which is now like 10 because actually they've changed it now it's like 10 50 it was like nine bucks so now we're saying like 10 50 to about 12 12 so that's not it's not bad because it's a one copy of so like you know ooh wow yeah i i can understand this being about 10 to 12 dollars that's fine that's very reasonable for a one of um copy of the over triggers so but still my point being my point being is that is pretty much the state of the stock market right now when it comes to Vanguard. Like, kind of keep your eyes peeled. I just I wanted to touch on these. Like, we could touch on we could touch on the Brant Gate stuff. Like, getting into their PG, getting into their um you know their over triggering things. But the thing is, you're still going to see about the same thing. You're still going to be seeing that look five dollars six dollars per pg because right now the cardinal stuff is doing really good cardinal deuce orphus is doing really really good i mean if we want to touch on that for just a second look it's 11.50 come down here he's about he starts swinging anywhere between 13 14 dollars a piece you need a play set of him um but that's just i want to just kind of bring that to the forefront for those who may not know maybe you're new to vanguard maybe you're looking into getting into the um overdress um, and you want to buy singles because right now the, the market is very tight and it's very tight due to supply and demand and it's it's hard to find the singles outside of TCG player um, if you are interested I will give you a few places let me see I got my bookmarks over here let's pull this up really quick so we've got 
if this will pull up. We got trading card mint. So if you are looking like right here, I was looking at this list. I was trying to look and see how much it would cost in order to build like the Hexagore orb stuff. It for the entire Hexa orb deck is about 60 bucks. Don't mind this. I was actually looking at commons and rares for um, Dragon Empire to do some other kind of little deck. This was averaging me about $20 to get all the like commons and rares out of the set that I needed outside of like the PG and things like that. Um, so yeah. There is trading card mint, guys, if you want to, outside of TCG Player. There is also um, Ideal 808. I'll show you that one real quick. So if you want to buy from them, they're also on the marketplace for TCG Player. You will see them listed down here because you'll see um, their Super Games Inc. I bought from them. They're super reliable. Um, and then you will see Ideal 808. I don't see it on here right now for this particular car because they may be sold out of it. But yeah, if you look, you, you'll see them on here once in a while. But yeah, Ideal 808 is a pretty good place also to find some singles from Overdress. Not so much for boxes. Again, if you check out my boy 50 Card, he does pretty good to do, um, you know, your pre-orders and things like that. He's also a very fair guy. If you're looking to contact him, um, you can contact him on here under the support. Or if you're on Twitter, you can follow him on Twitter as well as contact him on there. Um, he does a lot of stuff on Twitch and streams and makes YouTube videos. So super awesome guy. Very friendly and uh, very professional in what he does. I'm a huge fan and will be buying from him again in the future. So um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the state of Vanguard. Um, I, I, it was looking kind of cheap in, in the beginning, like uh, last week and earlier on this week. But now, like, the festival happened and, like, you know, tournaments are going on. People are opening up and things are just going on. And, like, we're starting to see what the top contenders are for the Vanguard decks. And right now, that, that price in order to get in here is going to be about anywhere between $150, $200 per competitive meta builds metas being like violence bruce cardinal deuce being um, nirvana varina being apex ruler bastion you know all of these big contenders are pretty are pretty expensive right now and i mean i guess it's for good reason everybody wants them they're brand new and right now the supply is not able to meet the demand we are going to be getting reprints in the future so again that's why i'm saying like if you look here um 50 cards got stuff coming in in june as well as we've got new reprints coming in in August. If you're looking for the second printing, a booster set one. Hopefully, that and this with the festival collection, all these coming in August and September. Hopefully, that's going to, you know, kind to like bring the market into more stability. It's hopefully it's going to give us more supply so that the demand is not so bad and it can meet the demand. Therefore, you know, dropping prices down once we get more supply into the market flow. And I really hope that that's going to be the case. Um, looks like we got more splits for wave two. I haven't even looked at booster set two, but it looks like our boys already sold out of the booster box, or at least the two times, four times, maybe not so much. Let's see. Oh no, let's click on this. What happens if I want to go to four times the booster box? Okay, so I can't actually buy this. I can still buy for 180 bucks. You can buy four booster boxes of a brush with legends. So again, guys, I'm just trying to give you some outlets and some ways to get your products, get the things that you're looking for. Check out my boy 50 card. Check out Ideal 808. Um, you know, trading card mint, things like that. Um, and I hope this video was helpful. I hope maybe this shed some light on some things, maybe give you guys some information on what to look for and, and where to find cards that you're looking for. And to kind of give you an idea what it's going to cost you, the player, to get into card fight vanguard overdress um if you would like guys please join my discord the description is down below i am trying to get remote fighters for my twitch channel as well as offline purposes so that we can practice and get a good roster of players together so please join me in my discord um i do have a channel dedicated to the remote fight so if you're interested in that go ahead and pop yourself in there say hello so i can get your name on the board so that we can get that thing you know get that going you can find me on twitch you can find me on twitter as well as instagram guys check me out there please give me a like and a follow and if you would guys please give this channel and this video a thumbs up please hit that subscribe button it helps me help you to keep the algorithm going and to keep making awesome vanguard content and until next time ladies and gentlemen please as always stay strong stay healthy and happy gaming.